How you doing? And welcome to another Cigar Assessor Cigar Video Review. Today I have the pleasure of reviewing the Grand Reserva de Familia Vintage Reserve from Paidia. A beautiful looking chocolate, well constructed box press stick. Um, very minimal veinage. It's got a pretty cool lion's head on the band. And from what I read, uh, Oliva is uh, the company distributing this stick. And that's about all I can find because there wasn't a lot of information online about this cigar. Uh, it was given to me uh, at the Oliva booth and um, it's a brand new stick. So let's get to work on it. Give it a sniff. Getting some cocoa and hay. Very nice. A strong barnyard from the stick. Mm, very nice smell. Nice. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of. How you do? Bye bye. Cinnamon and a little spice. Mm. Very nice. Toast the foot. Leather and cedar. Yep. Very nice. I'm gonna pair this beautiful thing up with the, another beautiful thing, some Virgil's root beer. Very nice drink. Very nice drink with cigars. Um, and if you have gluten allergies, no worries. Because there's no gluten in uh, Virgil's micro brews. I will get to work on this and return in a few seconds with some information for you to uh, jot down or if you have a good memory, just store in your memory and be back soon. Nice full smoke, pretty even burn, uh, nice dense gray ash. The ash fell about an inch of the way in. Um, this cigar is a Churchill 7x50 and the, uh, I was just looking online trying to find some more information out about this cigar and um, I couldn't, there's nothing out there. And so during the break, when I shut the camera off, I was given the card 
like Jack, who gave me the cigar at IPCPR. And I gave him a call, and he picked it up really easy, which is a, a cool thing for for people that want to get the cigar stores. He picked up the phone right away, and um, he gave me the stats on the cigar. So it may, I'm going to read a little bit because I couldn't find enough stuff out. So uh, basically, it is a Pennsylvania bo uh, broadleaf wrapper. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's a Pennsylvania broadleaf Maduro wrapper. And the binder is Nicaraguan Habano, aged. And the filler is all Nicaraguan. So, voila. Um, I'm glad I can get that information out there. And thank you very much, Jack, for the cigar and for the information. It's, uh, it's beautiful when you can reach out and get stuff right away. So, there we have it. Um, and I've been tasting cedar, leather, and some spices in this first third of the cigar. Very nice. Very nice. It has a little, um, it reminds me of the, the high-end uh, Padrones when they have the serial number. It has a little serial number on it. Yeah, and it's got a nice lion's head. Very nice. So let's put this down and let's pop open the root beer. Oh man, love root beer. This is good root beer. Not that crap with all the corn syrup in it. It tastes like medicine and band -Aid. Not for me, I said, not for me. Makes me moosha moosh. Look at that smoke pumping out of that stick. Look at that nice, even burn. Getting some cocoa. And some nuts, like a nutty flavor. Um, this is a nice cigar. So always remember, if you get a card from somebody important, put it in a drawer. Don't ever throw them away. You never know when they can come in handy. Um, yes. So I'm gonna get on my soapbox today for uh, for a second or maybe a couple minutes because the anti-smoking bandits have struck again in Canton, Massachusetts Massachusetts where I went to school for two years I lived in Boston, I love the city but I mean since then since the 90's uh, with Romney and those guys taking over and I don't know what's going on but in Canton Massachusetts now. They just voted to raise the age of smoking from 18 to 21 because it's they want to curb young people smoking because it's really dangerous for them. Okay. Beautiful. So that same 18 year old person that you have no problem sending overseas to be shot at, to have bombs thrown at, uh, to come back mentally damaged because you watched your friends be destroyed in a, a car bomb or whatever. You, that's not, I guess that's, that's more safe than uh, some guy, some 18 year old or 19 year old or even 20 year old enjoying a cigar which brings down your stress levels come on people you're a bunch of lunatics that's what you are lunatics and I don't mean to put you in the, the same category as a tick because even a tick is smarter than that damn people you know we live in a free country and it's getting less and less free because of these, these, these bandits or the 
these special interest bandits that want to take away rights from people and because they feel, or whatever the situation may be, is not good. Back off, man. Back off. Let us enjoy our cigars. Let people enjoy their cigarettes. They know that whether they're good or not for them, they are old enough to make that judgment call. You're just going to have more people illegally smoking, and why do you want to put that kind of stress on people? Let them enjoy their life. Like I'm enjoying this nice burning cigar. Just really not necessary. Go in your house and mind your business. Leave people alone. That's all I can say. Oh, man. Well, you saw it fall. I love it when it falls on camera. Nice even burn, full smoke, nice ash, very nice. So this is a regular limited production, which means um, it's not going away, but it's it's limited production so many, I guess, a year they'll make. Uh, that's what I get from that um, comment. So. This is, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. There's something in this that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, there's a flavor. Uh, I'll get it. The assessor will get the flavor out of this thing, the, whatever it's going in my, my palate, to my brain. So I guess uh, Oliva is the company behind this. is uh, It's made in the Oliva factory and uh, they're distributing it. They, they make good cigars, that company. I don't think I've had a bad one. They're all, they're all really good cigars. So you can't go wrong. You pick one up, you'll enjoy it. Look at that full smoke coming out of this stick. Oh, there we go. Twice in one review. What a what a treat. Burns pretty even. Um, tasting some roasted coffee uh, and molasses, some nuts. You know, in this section, really, really, really nice. So let's let's take this band off. See what we get. Uh, it's a, it looks like a double band, but it's actually a single. So let's pull it off. See how we fare. Very nice. So lion's head. Doesn't seem to be any glue or tears underneath. No defects, spotting. Still feels good, no soft spots. Very nice. And as we get into the last third, I can say, so far, so good. Very nice. very nice so I'm gonna smoke some more and I'll return in a few seconds with some more information for you right here so stay tuned
Still pumping out that full creamy smoke. The burn is even. The ash is holding on. Nice dense ash. Getting some uh, roasted coffee and cedar wood in this section. Very nice cigar. Very nice day today in Los Angeles. Feels like it's about 75, sunny. Very relaxing. Enjoying this very much. Yep. I also notice a lot of times I'm smoking cigars, I like to lick my lips. You get a, a you get a nice flavor on your lips from the from the wrapper. Sometimes like a saltiness or a sweetness. Very, very, very nice. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of time, energy, life put into these sticks. Uh, people don't really realize they just purchase it and they smoke it, but you got a whole aging process. Well, first you got the you know the soil and then the seed and the plant and then the process of which leaves or how we uh, how they uh, dry the leaves and and there's years go by and then they take that those leaves and then they create the cigar with the filler and the binder and let it sit and put the wrapper on and then they uh, design a band and uh, then they Sell, put them in cellophane, or maybe let them sit for a while, put them in the cellophane, let them age a little more, design the boxes, put them in the boxes. And all, I mean, it's a, such a process to, to create this one stick. And it's a, it's a, it is a work of art, if you, know, you come down to it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And you get those, you know, nice flavors, nice smoke, very relaxing. So just remember when you're smoking a cigar, all of the, the time, energy, and artistic vision that goes into the cigar. I mean, this is a box press, and this, excuse me, there's um, you know, the round, and the, the, the lengths, and the, it's the, the shaggy foot, the knot, this is the clean foot, the, the shape is incredible. A lot of a lot of thought goes into each stick. So there you have it. There's a oh ow, yikes! Uh, damn that jeans must be wearing because I felt that one. Where was I? Well, anyways, that's three times. Three times it fell on camera, which is cool. The two, I don't remember. A little bit of cocoa getting right now. So I'm going to finish this up, enjoy the rest of my day. Um, hopefully you do also. I hope you enjoyed the review. You can read the written review at cigarassessor.com go to my Facebook facebook.com slash cigarassessor send me a tweet twitter.com slash cigarassessor and I'm also on Tumblr and check it out other kinds of social media it's always a pleasure to smoke a nice cigar and talk about it and it's really nice when I get comments, whether they uh, agree with, this, with my assessment or not. So feel free to leave comments, tell me what you think, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you want, as long as it's cool and it's not, like, it's, I gotta delete the, the people that are just computer trolls or internet trolls. So, other than that, I will talk with you during the next review, and this is a Cigar Assessor's Approved Cigar. Have a great day.